one question, sir. I just uh, want to clarify for all the public what is the difference between the molecule of calcium and the magraph state of calcium. And uh, we uh, understand that calcium is one molecule, but we have different kind of magraph state of calcium and they storage in a different in different place of our body. So could you please clarify this? Um, in a way, yes, in a way, even though everything looks like calcium, what you call molecule is not a molecular, is a very much like a Gans in a in a, a more uh, less water connection between it, what we call the Gans of calcium, is connected to different elements which are attached to it as part of the plasmatic condition. What this means is that um, the bones in different, uh, the calcium in different part of the same bone has a different field of strength that it can expand into. And that, is that uh, sponginess of the same calcium compared to the hardness of it in the middle is uh, created and dictated by what material in gravitational magnetic field of strength have been made available by the brain in that environment. Very much like cartilage. The cartilage, the reason you have the spongy bit immediately under the cartilage, is because the texture, the gravitational magnetic field of cartilage, allows separation of the calcium in a much open way. The, what we call gravitational magnetic positioning, or in a way that there is a more a space for it to grow, so it creates the effect or the look or the uh, appearance of the sponginess. When you get to the middle of the bone, that is not needed. So, the bone create, gets created from the top and it comes down to the center, it gets absorbed into due to its maturity, into the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, the bone marrow. And then it becomes part of the T cells and B cells. And depends when this calcium, as a gravitational magnetic, not, not molecular, is uh, reached a field of strength, at that point, joins or gets absorbed into the bone marrow and then it becomes part of the strength of the immune system. And depending on what uh, radioactive material strength it will carry with itself. And then what the body allows as a, a potassium, calcium connection to be part of the potassium 40, to be absorbed, and at the same time, the carbon in the amino acid will convert into the part of the energy source through hydrogen to the, to the, what do you call it, to the bone marrow. This I have explained in the paper. So, we don't look at the molecular calcium, we look at the magnetic gravitational as a GANS, and then, according to that position of the GANS and the environment around it, it dictates how spongy, how tight the, the, the calcium becomes. And then the material which are converted within that material, within this gravitational magnetic field, have a direct effect on the calcium and uh, merger of the fields of the material and the calcium, then you see them as a um, calcium with uh, phosphor, calcium with zinc and other things which they distribute around the body of the man. 
we don't look at it as a molecular. Molecular uh, calcium is matter state, and in the body we don't have a matter. We everything is in a cancer state, gravitational magnetic field, and that's why uh, calcium changes. But in the condition of the Earth, gravitational magnetic field, it it is near enough to the molecular that it shows itself as to be molecular calcium.